Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you why I love the relatively new XLOOKUP function than the old VLOOKUP function. So let's get started. In our data set here, we can see this report. It contains the account manager's name, the quarter one to quarter four, total and commission. So our goal is simple in columns J to O, we want to use the VLOOKUP function and the XLOOKUP function to return the values for quarter one to commission for each of our account managers in cell I4 to I6. So let's get started. So I'm going to come to cell J4 here and deploy the VLOOKUP function, which looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. So press the tab key. Now the lookup value is going to be the leftmost. So click on cell I4, comma. Now for the table array, we want to give the entire table array here, comma. And for the column index number, now this is the way it works. This is going to be the column index number one two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to start from quarter one, which is column index number two. So I'm going to use what's called curly bracket and type in two, three, four, which is also known as array constant. So curly bracket or curly braces. I'm going to type in two. And of course I have to separate with commas. Okay. Then close the curly bracket, put in a comma. Now for the range lookup, we want to use the exact match type, or you can even type in zero and close the formula. Now when I control enter, you can see the formula spilled to the neighboring columns. So this quarter one, two, and two commission. Now these are the ghost cells. This is where the formula actually lives. Okay. Now I can just copy the formula down for the account manager, Colonel Rulibet, and Natasha Love. Okay. Now that's awesome for now. Let's do the same thing with the X lookup formula that I love so much. So equal sign x lookup and of course we need to give the lookup value so this value in cell i11 comma now for the lookup array we want to check this array okay put in a comma and for the return array we want to give the entire b4 to g17 now we do not need to apply f4 key to make it absolute just like we didn't do for the vlookup now for the if not found search mode Match mode are optional arguments. So I can close the XLOOKUP formula and control enter. Of course, it's spilled to the neighboring columns. That is quarter two, three, two commission. Then I can copy the formula down. Now that's lovely. So we achieve the same result, but you will discover that for the VLOOKUP, you've got to type in the columns that we want inside the curly brackets, which is the array constant. Now, if you have quite a list of columns that you want to specify it will take you some time to begin to type in two three four to whatever columns you want to terminate at but with the xlookup formula you do not need any typing of columns okay all you need to do is to give the value for the return array and that will do the magic from b4 to g17 and of course at the top here you can see this is the um, vlookup formula text and we can see the length is 35 character long but for the xlookup we have 27 character long so this is even more easier and more faster compared to the old vlookup so this is why i love the xlookup than the VLOOKUP function. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.